This week has been a very fun week. We've had a lot of stuff to do and play and cover. And just yesterday we were trying out the new Paladins update. Today I spent some time playing For Honor. And guess what guys? We're playing the new For Honor champion tomorrow night with a stream featuring some of my friends. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be a blast. We're going to have some laughs. And then next week we have The World Ends With You. So this game, World Ends With You, of course, one of my favorite games as a teenager, right? I loved it. I spent so much time on it. And now that the sequel is coming out, you can guarantee that we are playing in chat. You can guarantee. <laughs> so I can't wait for that next week. Uh, next week also sees the release of a new Guilty Gear character, so we'll be checking that out too. But without further ado, let's get in to some Doki Doki Literature Club. I have no idea what's coming next, but I kind of know bits and pieces, and I'm scared already. <laughs> oh wow, it even tells us the time down there. So, text-to-speech is off tonight, guys. That is because I do voices when I do this, and it's a little hard to juggle and do all of that all at once. Um, so, having text-to-speech as well as doing the voices and interacting with you guys as I normally do, um, it, it's a bit stressful for me. It makes my vision play up more than it already does with something that's text-based. <laughs> so, we, we try and make things a bit easier on ourselves. Uh, so, I hope you don't mind. But how's your day been, chat? Let me know. Like, did you have a good morning? Did you have a good night? Did you have a good brekkie? Have a good dinner? I myself had a lovely carbonara for dinner. It was delicious. Uh, let me know if audio is all good. Let me know if the video is all good. Just so we can fix these things before we get too far into it. <laughs> ah, yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm glad you're excited, because I'm not. <laughs> Last time, things were getting rather serious very quickly. Oh, you watched Shrek 2 in school? That's awesome. I was a kid when that came out. Which reminds me, I've been watching a bunch of my old childhood movies, like movies I grew up with, and I watched all of the Rugrat movies yesterday, and I... <laughs> I, 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 I 
I'm not too proud to admit that they still made me cry in the exact same spots they did when I was a child. <laughs> Those movies are sad. <laughs> but I've been on a huge Nickelodeon kick, and me and my good friend Katie uh, have been watching them throughout the night, all day, and alternating what we're doing and watching. Yeah, DreamWorks. See, I grew up with Nickelodeon kind of network mostly. A uh, bit of Disney here and there. Um, definitely the Wiggles. Don't know if you ever heard of the Wiggles, Chad. Hot potato, hot potato. Ooh, big red cup. You know, you know the ones. <laughs> Alrighty, let's jump into it. Like, I think we left off with Natsuki in our house and Sayori upset. Oh no, I want new game. No, no, this isn't what I want. I'm sorry, no. Low game. Yeah, that's what we want. Loading, yeah, 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 yeah. Load, please. <laughs> Never mind that, there was a little bit of a time skip. <laughs> Hi, Natsuki. I went back to the beginning of the game. How are you? Nice. <laughs> I'm sorry, Natsuki. I, I had to quickly jump back to the start of the game just to make sure it was working. <laughs> oh, the music might be kind of loud. I can adjust that. Alright, it also might be my mic being a little further away from my face. But let's have a look. Options. We can drop the volume a little. What am I on there? Uh, no, that's language. Take that back to English, please. Okay. Drop the music just a little? Like that? That's fine? I think that's fine. Good call, Jack. Good call. I recall Natsuki proudly presenting her cat-shaped cupcakes and Sayori and Monica's delighted expressions. I wonder if I can make Natsuki proud like that, too. Yeah. Maybe I'll use the food coloring then. <laughs> Sounds like you're starting to understand. Just make sure you're complete you completely finish mixing the icing before you mess with the food coloring. Yeah, it's getting there. We were using the electric mixer for the batter. So I got stuck with a whisk and a huge bowl of icing. Eh? The icing's still all lumpy like your dumb, stupid, lumpy head. I, I assume that's what she meant. Are you even trying? Like, are you? Like, seriously, even trying? Come on, bro. Oh, well, yeah, I, I thought I was. I can't ever take this game too serious because that music is so hot and touching. <laughs> it makes me happy every time. It'll just take a little longer. Jeez, I'll be here all night if you do it like that. Here, look. Natsuki grabs a whisk from me and uses her other hand to tilt the bowl back. You really need to 
beat the crap out of it. Actually, let's say that in Natsuki's voice. <clears throat> you really need to just beat the crap out of it. Like it's a nerd. Like it's a dumb, stupid little nerd named Falcon, you know? You know what I mean? Just grr, beat it. Grr. I mean, hee <laughs> hee. After a few seconds, the consistency of the icing has already improved. See? As if to emphasize that Suki sticks her finger in the icing and props her into her mouth. <laughs> I don't know, she's so mean to me! <laughs> The worst part is, right, like, I'm adding extra lines. I, <laughs> I'm making her extra mean, and I don't know why. Do I have some sort of personal problem where I need to be bullied by a pink-haired girl? That might be it. <laughs> Revealing too much of myself. <laughs> I reluctantly start to do the same. Hey! Natsuki suddenly grabs my wrist. I don't want your gross fingers in my icing. Your, your icing? Huh. Are you forgetting who did all the work? I start to fight back, trying to inch my finger into the bowl. Don't make me beat the crap out of you next, dweeb. <laughs> I'm not making her mean. She's supposed to be mean, chat. She's a bully. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'd like to see you try. I push harder. Just enough for my finger to touch the icing. I triumphantly scoop some with my finger as Natsuki tugs with all her might. Oh no, this bowl's going all over the place, isn't it? Ah! The force of Natsuki pulling me causes me to stumble, making her stumble in turn. Gross! You, you can't. You got it on my face! And whose fault is that? There's a big glob of icing on Natsuki's cheek. Yeah! She tries to reach it with her tongue, but it's too far away. <laughs> Jeez! You know what? Take this! Oh god. Natsuki instead wipes it off with her finger before shoving her finger toward my own face. <laughs> I love this game, chat. <laughs> it's such an experience just going through it. I mean, I have to take it slow because my eyes play up, but we, we'll get there. <laughs> Things are gonna start happening and I'm gonna start screaming, I guarantee it. I, I, I don't want it to be scary, but I know it's there. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Look, I sing to distract myself from the fact that I can't see it at the moment, and provide some form of commentary that isn't, uh, I can't see. <laughs> you wish, jellyfish, I'm faster. I grab her wrist with my hand before she touches my face. Natsuki tries to use her other hand to fight back, and I grab that one as well. Well, this is a compromising position. <laughs> Stop! Not until you apologize for calling me gross. Fine, fine! I'm sorry for calling you gross. You know I don't mean it. It's just fun seeing you react to it. You do that to me all the time, you know. Saying dumb things just to get a reaction out of me. 
You really shouldn't tease girls like that. Is... is... is that so? In that case, I probably shouldn't do this, either. I take Natsuki's finger and ram it into my mouth, licking off the icing. <laughs> Give me that icing! <laughs> what?! Did you seriously just... <laughs> Natsuki is so surprised that she can't even figure out how to get mad at me. Why? Why did I lick her finger? Why did I suck on that finger? Mmm, <laughs> finger. Mm. Tastes like pink-haired anime girl. <laughs> Entirely red. Falcon, you you really shouldn't do that kind of thing to girls unless you really like them. Oh, is that better? Is that a better voice? Not so mean, chat. You, you know that, right? Dot dot dot. What kind of question is she asking me just like that? Dude, you just sucked her finger. Clearly, you're into her. How did the mood turn to this so quickly? I... dot dot dot... Natsuki gazes at me in silence. I notice her shallow breaths. Dude, give her a kiss. Give her a smoochie. Give her a... <laughs> yeah, this dude is no good with girls. Why am I... What are the other words? Damn it, this scene requires... Pinpoint reading. I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> Natsuki, please, bear with me. We will continue this romantic moment in just a second, as soon as I can see... Why... Am I starting to feel dizzy? There we go, chat. <laughs> Out of nowhere, the fire alarm starts going off. Oh no, we left the stuff in the oven. Natsuki rushes over to the other. It is something burning? I thought you didn't put the cupcakes in yet. <laughs> no wonder you left a dirty tray in here, dummy! How could you make a mistake like that? You, you should have checked before turning on the oven. I mean, I'm an idiot. You should expect this from me. Don't blame me for your mistakes. Jeez. Natsuki uses an oven mitt to grab the blackened tray. She sets it on top of the stove. In another movement, the fire alarm stops. Anyway, I'm putting them in the oven now. Yeah, good idea. Then come back and let me suck your other finger. The, <laughs> the tension from the moment before still lingers on our heads. But the moment has already been lost. I watch as Natsuki slides the cupcakes into the oven. Then I reluctantly pick up the whisk and continue with the icing like nothing ever happened. Cat's being so behaved tonight, chat. Normally she wants to jump out of the window or run around, but tonight she's like, nah, it's too cold for any of that. I'm just gonna curl up in bed. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about you. You're so cute, old lady up there. <laughs> she's a snuggle cat. Ah, that smells so good. The cupcakes are ready to be pulled out of the oven. As soon as Natsuki opens the oven door, a blast of sweet-smelling, warm air fills the room. Look at how they turned out. 
she proudly shows off the different colored cupcakes in each of the trays. Yeah, yeah, girl has teeth. <laughs> I like that girl with teeth. <laughs> she can smile. They'll look over. They'll look even better once we add the icing. Not like you need to tell me that. I brought decorating stuff, so I hope you can get creative. Here, scoop the icing in these bags. Natsuki hands me some plastic bags. I have these nozzles that will make it look nice and fluffy. She really likes her cooking. This one. I mean, <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one can even make flowers. We probably won't be using this time, though. What's this one for? I pick up one of the nozzles that has a much thinner tip than the others. That one's really thin, so you can use it to make stripes or other patterns. But you can use it to write stuff on a cake as well. Like, happy birthday, or whatever. Huh, I see. That gives me an idea, actually. Eh? Well, it's a literature event, right? We could make more literature themed... Make them more literature themed by writing a different word on each of the cupcakes. It would be fun to see people choose their cupcakes based on a word they like. Huh. Mm -hmm. I was kind of expecting you to say something really stupid, like you always do, you know? But that's actually a really good idea. So we're not doing it, we're going with my idea because you're stupid. Do -do 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 -do. No, no, we're not, we're not, we're not destroying the cupcakes with vulgar imagery. They're cupcakes. We want people to have them. <laughs> How dare you? Ah ha ha ha! Maybe I'm getting it from you. What? What's that even supposed to mean? I'm not cute. Come on. We're not at school. Nobody's judging. You can't dress and act like this and not expect me to think you're cute. Well? Natsuki's voice trails off. Same with you. Uh? Did you say something? No, nothing! Oh, so she thinks we're cute. Ooh, the plot thickens, chat. Let's just do the dumb icing. Natsuki picks up her pace and fastens a nozzle into each of the bags. There's a lot to do, so we should stop wasting time. Here, I'll show you how to do it without giving me a chance to think about before Natsuki quickly moves on. She shows me how to apply the icing, and then we each get to work. When we're finally finished, Natsuki puts them all side by side, and we admire our work. Look at how pretty they are together! Yeah. They are, aren't they? Uh, I, I wish I could have one now. Well, there's no reason you can't, right? I don't see any harm in that. Have a cupcake. Well, yeah, but... My dad's making dinner tonight, so I already have to save my appetite. <laughs> Sayori's the exact opposite in that regard. If she was here, we'd probably be down a cupcake already. 
and she would still eat dinner. Come on, that's just unhealthy. Besides, when my dad cooks, I need to eat as much of it as I can. Otherwise, he beats me. That's... <laughs> Ooh. Well, anyway... I, I was hoping we would have time for manga, but I need to be home for dinner. Ah, uh, already? That's a shame. It's your fault for working so slowly. You should have thought about that. It's not like you always have this chance, you know? Man, I really blew it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Whew. I, I didn't mean to go that dark. Something about the way she talks about her dad just worries me, to be honest. As usual, Natsuki places the blame on me. You can bring the cupcakes tomorrow, right? If you and Sayori carry some, then you can probably do it in one trip. Yeah, I think I can do that. Don't worry. <sighs> I won't let her eat any. <laughs> you better not. I wish she would listen to me the way she listens to you. Uh, yeah. I think back to the conversation I had with Sayori earlier today. I felt so helpless. Sayori always does listen to me, but at that point it feels like she couldn't listen to me at all. Okay, I'm all packed up. Good work today. Uh, you too. I'll walk you out, I guess. Ba -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> Maybe. Sayori, don't you eat my cupcakes. Don't you do it. She's climbing into the window to steal them right now. <laughs> She's going, Cupcakes, I can smell them from here. Just like that, Natsuki is already about to leave. It feels like the afternoon went by in a flash. More than that, did I even take the opportunity to get closer to her like I wanted? Natsuki, how you doing, girl? You come here often, no? <laughs> I'll see you in school. <laughs> well, I guess I'll be off then. Thanks for all of the help and everything, and sucking my finger, you bloody weirdo. Do, 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 do. Sup? Hey, Austin. Thanks for jumping in, man. I see you there. I'll see you tomorrow. Wait, Natsuki! Eh? What you said before. About not always having this chance. It doesn't have to be that way at all. I had fun today. You showed me how fun baking can be, like you wanted. But aside from that, you can come over any time, okay? I think that if possible, I'd like to spend more time like this. If you want to read manga, or go out somewhere. Um... Grells, you big smelly dork, why would I like that? Uh, sundry noises. Do you really mean it, though? Natsuki looks at me tensely, like she's trying to hide her expression. Yeah, hell yeah! You're a cute pink-haired anime girl! Why wouldn't I mean it? I want to spend more time with you! Falcon. Da, da, da. You idiot. <laughs> well, this is charming. <laughs> I thought you only cared about getting this done. Uh, I, I'm 
sorry I had to leave so early today. I really didn't want to. I would really stay here longer if I could. I feel the same way as you, so... Natsuki suddenly gets closer to me. Wait, Natsuki! Standing inches from me, Natsuki looks up at me. I feel her fingers gently clutch at the side of my shirt, as if I'm holding, as if she's holding on to me. Her rose-colored cheeks and matching eyes fill my vision along with her slightly parted lips. <gasps> we are getting a kiss, chat. Mwah. What's, what's happening? <laughs> oh, I'm so nervous. A cute anime girl wants to kiss me. Oh my. <laughs> Shoot my shot. <laughs> How goes it, pretty lady? My heart starts to go dizzy. My, my heart? My head, my head, <laughs> that's what I meant to read. My head starts to get dizzy as I feel her soft breaths against me. I, I, I felt it for a while now. <laughs> Line, exclamation point, angry, sundry noises. Natsuki suddenly jumps back. Say, Sayori. Eh? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, ah, ah, hi, Falcon. Sayori, just now we weren't, dude, no, no, aren't up to it. Like, don't string him along. Like, if you like Natsuki, be like, yeah, damn, girl, I was about to, you know, get closer with Natsuki and stuff, but you kind of interrupted that moment. Sorry, how are you doing? You know, <laughs> or you make it funny. It's like, haha. <laughs> Did fancy meeting you here? <laughs> Don't make it awkward, dude. Whatever you do, your next line better not make it awkward. I swear to God. Like, you can recover from this. Don't mess it up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's okay, Falcon. I just stopped by to say hi. Uh huh. Well, you should have come a little earlier. I'm already on my way out, so... Ah, really? That's too bad. Yeah, well... I, I, I'll still see you at the festival tomorrow. It's fine. Just don't eat any cupcakes before then. I'm looking at you, Natsuki. I'm looking at you, Sayori. You better not eat my cupcakes. You better not eat my cupcakes, you fat... Whoa, Natsuki, chill, chill, chill. It's okay, it's okay. She won't eat the cupcakes, damn. <laughs> it's a win. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. He can still mess it up. Watch him do it. <laughs> Anyways, later. Nerds Bye <laughs> Clearly flustered, Natsuki hurries off and Sayori waves goodbye. Bye Sayori I thought you didn't want to come over today. Uh -huh. well I tried staying in my room, but my imagination was being really mean to me. So I had to come here and see it for myself. Oh, no. She was in her room obsessing over if me and Natsuki were doing anything. Because she likes us. Oh, that, no. And then she comes over and sees us. No, trying to smooch up with Natsuki. Oh, no. Sayori, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't even think about it. No! <laughs> so, so, I, I, I had to come here and see it for myself! See what? We were just making cupcakes, I swear! 
Sayori, please! Don't, don't do this to me! <laughs> what are you talking about? You know! How much fun you were having with Natsuki instead of me, you know? And how close you got to her. It makes me really happy. Oh my gosh, she doesn't look really happy. That you made such good friends, you know? Female friends that aren't me! Also, sad piano music is not helping. That's all that matters to me. Tears start to fall down Sayori's face. Oh, no! That's all that matters to me! Why am I feeling this way, Falcon? It's because I just crushed your little heart. I'm sorry. I'm so t I I'm supposed to be happy for you! Why does it feel like my heart is splitting in half? It hurts! It hurts so much! Everything just hurts! This would be so much better if I could just disappear! Sayori! Don't say that. It's true, Falcon. If I wasn't here, then you wouldn't have to waste your sympathy on me. You wouldn't have to put up with me being so selfish. Don't you think that way, Sayori? Stop it. Monica was right. What did Monica tell you? Don't listen to her. Chad, I don't like how this is going. I don't know how long I can keep it up. I'm getting sad. It's... I should just... Monica? Monica was right about what? Da da da. Sayori. What I said before is true. I'm not going to let this continue. Caring about you like this isn't the burden your mind is making it out to be. It's something that makes me happy. It's something that I wouldn't trade for anything else. So, even if it takes an entire lifetime, I'm going to be by your side until you don't feel any more pain. Dude, no, that's not what she wants. <laughs> she's telling you why she's upset it's because she has feelings for you but she still wants to be your friend without ruining it and she feels selfish because she thinks by thinking like that her happiness is more important than yours like she cares about you more than anything else in the world but she doesn't want to burden you with her life and her problems and her issues but at the same time she wants to you know, she's torn. She wants to be with you, but she doesn't want to bring you down with her. So the best thing you can do is be her friend. Not this, like, I will be with you for all life. I will defend you from all atrocities. Anything bad that could ever happen to you, I will protect you. Dude, no. She's already suffering. So you saying that stuff doesn't matter. <laughs> Sayori looks away. I put a hand on her shoulder to reassure her. I'm scared, Falcon. I'm really scared. What What are you scared of, Sayori? I'm scared that... that I might like you more than you like me. Sayori. It's true, isn't it? I was weak and started to like you too much. I did this to myself. Falcon. 
I like you so much that I want to die. That's how I feel. And, and... That's enough, Sayori. I don't want you to hurt anymore. I slide my head down Sayori's arm and squeeze her hand in my own. Do you remember how I said, I always know what's best for you? Dude, this is very dangerous. She's talking about possibly killing herself and you're not realizing how serious this is. Do not mess it up. I swear to God, do not mess this up. And he's all like, now's my move. <laughs> I'll make her feel great by showing her how much I care by touching her, making her think that I like her in return in the same way that she likes me, even though that's not how I feel. No, dude, just no. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is this is getting weird, man. It's like, <laughs> dude. Do, do you believe me? Wordless, Sayori nods. Even if you don't understand all of your own feelings. No, dude, she understands her feelings. You're not understanding her. I know what you need the most right now. Dude, I swear to God. And what? And that's what I'm going to give you. Oh. Chat. Chat. What do I do? What do I do? I'm scared. <laughs> so basically, Austin, what you missed is Sayori explaining that everything is painful in her life right now and all of her feelings suck and she feels like she'd be better off dead because she feels like I don't like her back the way she likes me. But she doesn't want to be with us because she's worried she'll burden and upset our lives and she doesn't want to force herself onto us if we don't feel the same but we're pursuing Natsuki like we were super flirty with Natsuki like I don't feel like Sayori's been my friend like I don't love Sayori she's my friend Natsuki though she's kind of cute like I, I don't want to be a player it's not like hey how you going, girl? How you going, girl? That Suki was here five minutes ago. We were smooching it up. But I love you. Hot damn. Like, no, that's messed up. <laughs> like, I, I want to say she's my friend. But I feel like... Uh... I ain't no player. I'm like a one girl man, you know? You don't go flirting around. You don't go playing with girls' hearts. That's messed up. Like, no. You'll always be my dearest friend, Sayori. Sayori. You'll always be my dearest friend. Sayori. I love you. That's a lie, though. Like, he doesn't love her the way she loves him. Like, don't lie to her. Okay, rip off the band-aid. Sayori, you're my dearest friend. I just friend zoned her. Oof. <laughs> oh, I feel terrible. What you need most is for things to be like they've always been. Monica told me the truth. She told me how much happier you seemed after I joined the club. I know you're struggling with something really difficult feelings right now, but please trust me that I know what's best and what will make you happy 
in the end. I promise I'll help you get things back on, back to the way they were. I, dot dot dot. I I see. I mean, I, dot dot dot. See, dot dot dot. Sayori forces a smile, though it seems like an incredibly pained expression. Ah, <laughs> is this what it feels like to be stabbed in the chest? Uh oh. I, I should write a, I should write a poem about this. Oh. Sayori. It's okay! It's okay that you don't love me! It's okay! This is just my punishment, remember? For being so selfish. So please, please don't worry about these stupid feelings. I know you're right. I know this time that there's no happiness down that path. That's why I came here. Just so I could get the answer I needed to hear. And the other thing. You're also right that I just want to go back to the way it was. I realize that now. You really do know me better than anyone, Falcon. I'll trust you. With anything. Anything at all. So... Sayori's smile finally breaks. All of a sudden, she turns around and drops to her knees. <sighs> Clutching her head with both hands, she screams as loudly as she can. I'm so shocked that I don't know how to react. Dot dot dot! Sayori looks over her shoulder and flashes me one weak smile before turning around and running off. Sayori! Chat, what the hell is happening? There's no, there's no right choice, is there? I didn't want to lie to her. I didn't want to upset her. No! <laughs> There's so much pain. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I've left, helplessly standing in the front of my house. Dude, you messed it up, didn't you? You, you messed it up. Everything sucks now, doesn't it? <laughs> Why am I feeling so horrible about this? There's something more that I could have done. Most I can do is support Sayori through her feelings and help her on the path that's right. Dude, who are you to say what's right or wrong? Like, ugh, I hate this dude. He's so self-righteous. I wouldn't even act like this. Like, this isn't me, chat. I hate that he has my name. But I'm having as much trouble understanding Sayori's feelings as she is. Dude, it's not hard to understand. She literally spelled it out to you. Ugh, he's making me so mad. It's like, stop being ignorant. <laughs> Even though I can comfort her. I keep wondering if I should be doing something more, or something different. I know those thoughts will continue to plague me until things are back to the way they were. There's no right answers. There's none. There's none, chat. Curse you, imposter falcon! <laughs> yeah, he's acting kinda sus. I'm not a fan.
This is why I say don't take don't take any relationship advice advice from dating sims or video games. Nine times out of ten they'll get it wrong. Same with movies. Like real people are different. <laughs> real people will tell you exactly like how they're feeling most of the time. You just gotta like actually listen. Yeah, it's... She seems like she's breaking, and I don't like it. I'm going to give it everything I've got. Sayori will always be my dearest friend. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Dude, that's not what she needs. Like, she's faking smiles. Like, she doesn't need you to be like, Oh, ha, ha, I will save you. I'm your white knight. La da 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 da. Like, no, just be a chill dude and be there for her. Understand that she likes you and explain to her that you don't feel the same, but you want to be close to her and you want to be her friend. Like, all you've done is left it vague and broke her heart by not telling her the truth. Like, you're making her suffer more by being like this. Like, ah ha, ha everything will be fixed, you'll be better! Like, you just gotta, trust me, you'll be happy every day with me as your friend! Like, no, like, that's not how real life works, that's not how depression works, it doesn't just magically go away. <laughs> He's like, I have cured you, you will be happy now! <laughs> with my magical friendship! Like, no. <laughs> it's more than words, dude. Like, you have to put in the effort. And I'll do whatever it takes to put a smile on her face every day. Sorry, chat. This is just a subject that I, I get a bit sensitive about myself. <laughs> it's the day of the festival. Of all days, I expected this to be the one where I'll be waiting where I'll be walking to school with Sayori. But Sayori isn't answering her phone. I considered going to her house to wake her up, but I decided that's a little too much. No, dude, just go check on her. You're, you live next door! Like, you expected to see her in the morning. She's not there after the conversation you just had. Knock on her door, it's like, hey, Sayori, you want to go to school together? Like, put some effort in and not, like... Ah, uh, she's not answering the phone. She she must have slept in. Like, no big deal. She only just poured her heart out to me yesterday. It's not like she's dealing with anything right now. Like... <laughs> Meanwhile, the preparations for the event should be nearly complete. I managed to carry all the cupcakes myself, carefully stacking two trays. So he just went to school, right? Sayori was like, yeah, let's carry the cupcakes together in the morning. She's not there after the conversation you just had, and you don't even check on her. Like, dude. Like, dude. <laughs> like, dude. <laughs> the signs are obvious. Like, be a friend. Like, dude. She's your neighbor. <laughs> Just knock, knock. Sayori, you up? Like, we were supposed to go to school together. Like, how hard is that? <laughs> uh, this dude, man. Natsuki's already texting up her storm, but I can't respond thanks to my hands being full. Oh, that's cute. Natsuki's like, where are you? <laughs> You were supposed to be here with the cupcakes half an hour ago, you dummy! <laughs> Finally, funnily enough, I probably feel the same way as Natsuki about the event. I'm more excited for it to be over and spend time with Sayori and Natsuki at the festival. But knowing Monica, I'm sure the event will be great too. Okay, so let's just go to an event. That'll be fun. Also, why is there no music? Monica, what'd you do to the music? Hey, Falcon. How's it going, bro? <laughs> yeah, why is there no music? 
What happened to the music? I want music. <clears throat> You're the first one here. Thanks for being early. That's funny. I thought it... <clears throat> That's funny. I thought at least Yuri would be here by now. Monica is placing little... booklets. I almost said... Biscuits, and I don't know why. <laughs> Little biscuits on each of the desks in the classroom, in case you get hungry later. Nom nom nom. <laughs> yeah, I don't trust it anymore. Things are going bad. They must have been the ones she prepared. M must have been the ones prepared with all the poems we're performing. In the end, I found a random poem online that I thought Monica would like and submitted it. So that's the one I'll be performing. I'm surprised you didn't bring Sayori with you. Yeah, she overslept again. Dude, you don't know that. Just <laughs> she could have tripped or fell. <laughs> like you don't know. Like, hey, my friend was supposed to meet up together. Oh, they're not here. I guess I should just go without them. No, you can't get a hold of them. You ring their mother or, you know, someone they're close with. And it's like, hey, have you heard from this person? Are they all good? Like, if you're legitimately worried or care about someone and they haven't shown up where they're supposed to and you're waiting on them and you can't get a hold of them, like, maybe, maybe I'm silly, right? And I assume, oh, maybe something's happened. I should check on them in some way. Like, if you're so worried, you do everything you can. And dude, she's literally your neighbor. It's like, it's not hard. Knock, knock. Dude. <laughs> it's making me so mad. <laughs> yeah, and I have a feeling she's not okay too. And I, <laughs> I'm not happy about it. Because if it was me, you know, if it was actually my choice, I would have checked. I would have... I would have known by now, you know. <laughs> but this dude's like, dum de dum, these cupcakes need to get to school. Oh, gee, willikers. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, she overslept again. That dummy. You'd think that on days this important, she'd try a little harder. Dude, that's your friend. I say that, but... I suddenly remember what Sayori told me yesterday. Oh, now you remember. And I suddenly feel awful, knowing it's not nearly that simple for her. I only said it because that's the way I'm used to thinking. But maybe I should have gone to wake her up after all. <laughs> You're so silly. You should raise... You should take a little responsibility for her, Falcon. I mean, especially after your exchange with her yesterday, you kind of left her hanging this morning, you know? Exchange? How did you know about that? Monica, you know about that? Of course I do. I'm the club president after all. I've got cameras set up all around your house. It's not weird. Every club president does it. But... I stummer, embarrassed. Did Sayori tell her about it that quickly? About how I basically turned down her confession? That makes me really seem like the bad guy here. But I'm the one that knows what's best for her, right? Jeez. You don't know the full story at all, so... Don't worry! I don't care that you're a giant, mean, dumb person trying to avoid saying bad words. Mm. I probably know him a lot more than you think. Eh? Monica is being friendly as usual, but for some reason I felt a chill down my spine after hearing that. Hey, do you want to check out the pamphlets? They came out really nice. Yeah, sure. Grab one of these pamphlets laid out on the desk. Oh yeah, they really did. Something like this will definitely help people take the club more seriously. 
Yeah, I thought so too. I flip through the pages. Each member's poem is neatly printed out on its own page, giving it an almost professional feel. I recognize Natsuki and Yuri's poems from the ones they performed during practice. What's this? I flip to Sayori's poem. Oh. It's different from the one she practiced. It's one that I haven't read before. Oh. Oh. Oh, chat. I... Oh, oh God. I'm scared. Because I only saw the first couple of lines and then my vision went for a second and now you guys are probably seeing it. <sighs> get out of my head! Get, get out of my head! 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 And then it continues like that for a while. And I I think Sayori's not okay, guys, and I'm worried. Okay. <sighs> okay. Thing also there's still no music! I want my comforting music back, please. Uh what is this? Reading the poem, I get a pit in my stomach. Falcon? What's wrong? Uh, nothing. This poem feels completely different from everything else Sayori's written. But more than that, I changed my mind. I'm going to get Sayori, so... Ah. Well, alright. Try not to take too long, okay? I, I quickly leave the classroom. Don't strain yourself. Monica calls that out after me. I quicken my pace. What was I thinking? Dude. What was I saying? I should have tried a bit harder for Sayori. It's just not a big deal. To wait... To at least wait for her or help her wake up... Dude! What did I tell you? I swear to god, this dense idiot! Even the simple gesture of waiting for her to make... Waiting... Uh, walking her to school makes her really happy. Exactly! Besides, I told her yesterday that things would be the same as they've always been. Yeah, exactly. Things would be the same as they've always been, which is you've always walked to school together. And what did you do the day after you said, Hey, things will always be the same. Ha ha ha. You immediately do you do the opposite. Like, are you kidding me? It's like smacking my head against a brick wall with this guy. Uh, that's that's all she needs, and what I want to give her. Why is there still no music? <laughs> I want my calm music back, please. I reach Sayori's house. And knock on the door. Dude. I don't expect an answer since she's not picking up her phone either. Like yesterday I opened the door and let myself in. Dude. Sayori. She really is a heavy sleeper. I swallow. I can't believe I ended up doing this after all. Waking her up in her own house. Oh, so she must be sleeping on the bed or something. He's found her? Oh, at least she's okay. Like, he sounds like he's just found her. Isn't that more like something a boyfriend would do? No, dude. She's a friend that needs help. Like, it's not something a boyfriend would do. Like, sure, a boyfriend could do it, but you're also her friend. Like, ugh. <laughs> in any case... It just feels right. Outside Sayori's... Oh, okay, so... 
I guess he knows she's sleeping. Like, he can hear her snoring. <laughs> Outside, Sayori's room. I knock on her door. Sayori! 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 You in there? Sayori! Wake up, dummy! There's no response. I really didn't want to have to enter her room like this. Isn't it the kind of... Isn't it a kind of breach of privacy? But she really leaves me no choice. I gently open the door. Say- Oh, shit! I'm not okay, chat. I'm not okay. This is no go. Like, this is... Oh my god. I guess the music's back. I'm actually having a hard time talking because I, I, I am legitimately on the verge of crying. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Is this a nightmare? It, it, it has to be. This isn't real. There's no way this can be real. Sayori wouldn't do this. Everything was normal up until a few days ago. That's why I can't believe what my eyes are showing me. Chat, don't even make your stupid jokes. <laughs> this is no place for jokes anymore. This is a place of fear and tears. Oh god. I suppressed the urge to vomit. Just yesterday, I told you, I, I, I told Sayori I would be there for her. I told her I know what's best, and that everything will be okay. Then why? Why would she do this? Because you weren't listening, you dumb idiot! How, how could I be so helpless? What, what did I do wrong? Turning down her confession? Oh, no, you should have just been more honest about it, instead of being all weird. That, that has to have been what pushed her over the edge. No, what pushed her over the edge was you pretending to be a hero that would fix everything. Like, ugh. <laughs> This makes me feel a certain way, chat. One of them is very angry, the other is very upset. The worst part is, I knew stuff like this was in the game, and I I couldn't have been prepared for it. At all. Like, I knew it was coming, I didn't know when it happened, but I knew something was coming. Yeah, I, I, again, I apologize to anyone in the chat that wasn't prepared for that. I wasn't prepared for it either. It's a lot to take in. <laughs> Her agonized scream still echoes in my ears. Why did I do that to her she, when she needed me the most? Why was I so selfish? Because it would have been a lie. Like, you don't love her that way. I, it would have been worse to lie to her. Why Sayori, man? I mean, no one should die, but, like, 
this one, this one hits hard because she was struggling with some heavy stuff, you know. It's stressing me out, chat. It's making my vision go funny. <laughs> oh, it's. Oh. This. This is my fault. My. My swarming thoughts keep telling me everything I could have done to prevent this. If I just spent more time with her, walked her to school, and gave her what I know she wanted out of our relationship, then I could have prevented this. Well, that's. That's no way to think about it. Like. See, that's the problem, right? He's thinking about it like, oh, if I just loved her, then I would have saved her. But there's no guarantee that would have happened either. And then you would have been lying to her because you're just like, I want to be with you to make you happy, not I want to be with you because I want to be with you. Like, don't stay with people if you don't want to be with them. Like, be honest. I know I, I could have prevented this. Screw the literature club! Screw the festival! I, I just lost my best friend. Someone I grew up with. She's gone forever now. Nothing I do can bring her back. This isn't some game where I can reset and try something different. I had only one chance, and I wasn't careful enough. And now, I'll carry this guilt with me until I die. Nothing in my life is worth more than hers. But I still couldn't do what she needed from me. And now, I can never take it back. Never. 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 End. What the hell just happened? What the hell just happened? Also, what is wrong with Sayori on the screen? What is wrong with Sayori on the screen? What is going on? <laughs> this this is some stuff, man. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> hey man, thanks for joining in. Am I winning? <laughs> I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. Do I just hit this and continue? Like, is that game over? Like, what? Like, That's some tech noise for you. I I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she just doesn't care. Hey yo, <laughs> like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh no. Is Sayori just, like, messed up, like, not in the game anymore? Because this is, like, the start again. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but just kind of works out because you've known each other so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but... Starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently 
and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me, chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sit, sigh, and idle in front of the crosswalk and let <laughs> catch up to me. Hello, Monica. Hi, Yuri. What is happening? Did someone break my game? <laughs> is this supposed to be happening? <laughs> it's an ordinary school day, like any other. <laughs> Chat, I don't feel good about this at all. Mornings are usually the worst, being surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've always walked to school alone. No, I haven't. I I always tell myself about time I met some girls or something like that. No, that's what Sayori told you. But I have no motivation to join any clubs. I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. <laughs> There's always the anime club, but it's not like there would be any girls in it anyway, because girls don't like anime. That'd be weird. <laughs> the school day is ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs, dot dot dot. There really aren't any that interest me. Besides, most of them would probably be way too demanding for me to want to deal with. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Falcon? We don't know who this is. Hi! He just phased into existence. Are you all good? Didn't lose any pieces? Monica? You're freaking me out, man. Oh my goodness. I totally ex didn't expect to see you here. It's been a while, right? Uh... Yeah, it has. Monica smiled sweetly. We... We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and dangerous. <laughs> uh, chat, what are your thoughts? <laughs> oh, anyone gonna guess what's happening? And like, if you actually know the game, don't spoil it, please. <laughs> How are you guys holding up? <laughs> oh goodness. I I gotta take a drink. <laughs> uh, uh, this this game is whew, it's something else. Yeah, join the club. We have jackets that says Disturbed on the back. <laughs> Which sounds like something an edgy teenager would wear, so we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> no worries, Dragon. Thanks for jumping in. Fun as always. If you want to continue watching, feel free to return to the video once it's uploaded. Don't miss a thing. That's why we upload them. <laughs> and I'll see you next time, of course, of course. Thank you so much for the support, Dragon. And same goes to anyone, any newcomers to the chat, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You can stay up to date with new live streams and watch old ones too, so you never miss a thing. And I'm very active in our Discord too, so if you want to join that, join the community, have some chit chats with me and other people, we can do that too. All that information is in the channel description. 
Anyway, we shall continue playing some Doki Doki because I I want to see where the heck this is going. <laughs> this is so bizarre and shocking. <laughs> Basically, she's completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... What did you come in here for, anyway? Oh. <laughs> I've just been looking for some supply. <clears throat> I mean, I've just been looking for some supplies to use for my club. Do you know if there's any construction paper in here? Or markers? I, I, I guess you could look in the closet. You're in the debate club, right? <laughs> About that. I actually quit the debate club. Really, you quit? Yeah. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about budgets and publicity and how to prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. In that case, what club did you decide to join? Actually, I'm starting a new one. A literature club. Literature? So we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen, right? Like... <laughs> that, that sounds kind of dull. How many members do you have so far? Um... <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but there's only three of us so far. No, there's four. Where's Sayori? Monica, where's Sayori? Monica, there's supposed to be four of you. Don't you tell me there's three. I know how to count. There was four anime girls. There's now three anime girls. I know math. It doesn't add up. Monica, help. Explain, please. <laughs> it's really hard. I mean, it's really hard to find new members for something that sounds so boring. Well, I can see that. But it's really not boring at all, you know? Literature is... can be anything. Reading, writing, poetry. I mean, one of my members even keeps her manga collection in the club room. Wait, really? Yeah, it's funny, right? She always insists that the manga is literature too. I mean, she's not wrong, I guess. Oh no. Is that Suki next? Monica, tell me. Monica, please. Don't. I, I like that Suki. And besides, a member's. And besides, a member's a member, right? Did, did Monica say she? Hey, Falcon, by any chance are you still looking for a club to join? Uh, I mean, I guess so, but... In that case, is there any chance you could do me a little favor? I mean, a big favor. <laughs> a big favor. I want to ask you to join, but... If you could at... If you could, at the very least, visit my club, <laughs> it would make me really happy. Please? Um... Sure. Uh, I guess... Well, I guess I have no reason to refuse. It's not like weird things are happening, my best friend is missing, and Monica's freaking out. Like, I have no reason not to trust what's happening at all, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's just a game, right, chat? <laughs> Besides, how could I ever refuse someone like Monica? She's so pretty that hair and bouncing pose. Sure, I guess I could check it out. Ah, awesome! You're really sweet, Falcon, you know that? <laughs> it's nothing, really. Shall we go, then? <sighs> Man, I'm tired. <sighs> <Yep. laughs> oh. You hanging in there, chat? Having fun? I, I, I'm still having fun, trying to. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll look for the materials, 
in another time. You're more important. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul to Monica and her irresistible smile. I dejectedly follow Monica across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Monica, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. I'm back! And I brought a guest with me. Girl 1, eh? A, a guest? Seriously, you bought a boy? Way to kill the atmosphere. Don't be mean, Natsuki. No, I like it. Let her yell at me, please. It's the only thing that makes sense here. But anyway, you're welcome to the club, Falcon. Da da da. All words escape me in this situation. Three cute anime girls. One with pink hair, one with purple hair, one with brown hair, and lovely eyes to match. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. So, let me guess. You're Monica's boyfriend, right? What? No, I'm not. Natsuki. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes her look like a first-year student. Anyway, this is Natsuki. Energetic as always. And this is Yuri, the Vice President. Nur, Sayori is the Vice President. Nur, it's not right, Monica. What's happening? It's, it's nice to meet you. Yuri appears comparably more mature and timid. Seems to have had a hard time keeping up with someone like Natsuki. Yeah, it's nice to meet both of you. So, so, I ran into Falcon in a classroom and we decided to come check out the club. Isn't that great? Wait, Monica! Don't tell me you're gonna... You didn't let me know in advance before you bought anyone new. I was going to, well, you know. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> I didn't forget that, but I just happened to run into him. In, in, in that case, I should at least make some tea, right? Yeah, that would be great. Why don't you come sit down, Falcon? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Dory walks to the corner of the room and opens the closet. Meanwhile, Monica and Natsuki sit across from each other. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Monica. So I know you really didn't plan on coming here, but we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Litcher Club, it is my duty to make sure the club is fun and exciting for everyone. I'm surprised there aren't many more people in the club yet. You know, like a fourth member. A bubbly girl, maybe. You know, possibly named Sayori. No, doesn't ring a bell? Glad we're on the same page. <laughs> it must be hard, starting a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting all that effort in to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like the festival that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate, right, Natsuki? Well, I guess. Natsuki reluctantly agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these two. 
Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot in the middle. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? D don't worry. The, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Uh, that, that's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I... I, I meant that, you know. I, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I am glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, <laughs> I mean, so, Falcon, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Did someone say manga? <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling good stories in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious, by the way, her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Kind of like this one. You know, slightly disturbing. Isn't it me? <laughs> the hints were there, chat. They were there all along. <laughs> oh boy. At least the calming music's back. Like, I'm not gonna complain. Do, 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 do. Ba, do, 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 do. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of ima imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Kind of like right now, when the world's going mental and you have no idea why? Haha. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I desperately try to grasp something I can relate to on a minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> I'd expect that from you, Yuri. It suits your personality. Oh, is, is that so? Really? If a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Huh, <laughs> I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I, just, I do, okay? Natsuki's eyes start over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting, silly. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't you say it out loud! Give that back! Fine, fine. Natsuki, you write your own poems. Uh, well, I guess sometimes... Why do you care? I, I just think that's impressive. 
why don't you share them sometime? No! Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, uh, not a very confident writer yet then, huh? Uh, I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing makes more than just takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your head. I mean heart. I meant heart. <laughs> do, do you have any writing experience, Falcon? I mean, ha, do you have any writing experience, Falcon? I don't know why she sounds like a valley girl sometimes, but we'll roll with it. Yeah, I yeah, now I gotta now I gotta flirt again. Gotta spit that game to Natsuki. <laughs> I like, I, whew, I have no idea what's happening anymore. Like technically everyone's acting like this is the first time meeting again. And I guess it is. I guess Sayori's just not here anymore. Whatever that means. That might make it weird if I try and get closer with Natsuki again, right? Like, I don't know. Because I'll know all this stuff about her and she knows nothing about me yet. Like, I don't know, man. <laughs> maybe if you share some of... Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel more confident to share hers. Dot dot dot. I guess it's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Da da da. Natsuki and Yuri look quizzical at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um, that sounds dumb. Da da da. Uh, uh, mm, mm, uh? <laughs> I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I, I think you're right, Monica. We, we should probably start finding activities for all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take on the responsibility of vice president after all. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, that... Now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Falcon? Hold on. There's still one problem. And what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind this entire time. I, 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 I never said I would join this club. Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, uh, and, um, I lose my train of thought. These three cute anime girls looking at me judgingly. Please, don't judge me. Please. I can't handle it. Their eyes, they're so judgmental and beautiful. They're sparkling with anger. <laughs> But, you, I thought you joined. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I thought, humph. Uh, oh, yeah, good diet. <laughs> the girls exchange glances before Monica turns back to me. I, I guess I need to tell you the truth, Falcon. The thing is... We don't have enough members yet to form an official club. We need four. You, you had four, Monica. You had four. And I've been trying really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Dot dot dot. I, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision on, on it when it's like this? 
I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself seems pretty relaxed. So, if I'm writing poems, if writing poems is a price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, Falcon? Yeah. It could be fun, right? You, you really did scare me for a moment. I mean, if you really just left after all this, I would be super pissed. Falcon, I'm so happy! We can become an official club now! Thank you so much for this. You really are amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. Chat, what is going on? Why is everyone acting normal? Things are not normal. <laughs> like, why are they just pretending like nothing's happened? I... <laughs> My brain, it does not compute. I, I, I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem, bring it to the next meeting, so we can all share. Monica looks at me once more. Falcon, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> Yeah, dot dot dot. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. With that, I depart the club room make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright, uh, I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with me writing a poem tonight. You have unlocked a special poem. Would you like to read it? We have unlocked a special poem, chat. What could this be? No, 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 no. This better not be Natsuki. This better not be Sayori. Give me a second, chat. <laughs> uh, need my eyes to adjust so I can't actually read it. <clears throat> a dream. I was wandering on an abandoned... I was wandering an abandoned warehouse at night. I was lost. Looking for an exit, I just wanted to go home. I came upon a huge empty room, its ceiling and walls beyond the deep blackness. My steps were quick in order to hurry to the other side, or to a wall, anything. Suddenly the ground was no longer beneath my feet. I stepped into a hole of intermediate width. I fell for a good five seconds before crashing into warm water. Figuring out which way was up, I surfaced myself. The air was humid, and the sounds of splashing reverberated endlessly. My vision was completely swallowed by the dark. With one hand, I could feel this damp metal wall of the container. My lungs were getting tired. Excuse me? Hi, girls. I guess we're going to write a poll. A 
Okay. Candy. Disorientated. Strawberry. Music. Forgive. Fireworks. Giggle. Empty. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes empty. Play. Journey. Laugh. Happiness. Special. Puppy. Vacation. Fantasy. Vivacious. Comfort. Boop. And we will choose the last word for our fantastic poem next time. When Falcon continues to play Doki Doki Literature Club! Thank you so much, guys, for joining in. We're going to be wrapping it up for tonight. It's getting a little bit late, and I do want to have a sleep. <laughs> but thank you so much for the support. I love it. You guys are fantastic. As always, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to join the community, we have a Discord. You can find that in the channel description. Take it easy, guys. Have a good night. And remember... Birds of a feather flock together. Falcon is out! Kaka!